I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Cull, a weekly sport fishing debate show. And this week, we're going to approach the topic of anglers leaving the boat to land a fish in professional tournaments. Panger, what's your take on it? I have a lot of takes on this one. And I'm conflicted. I'm truly conflicted over this one, Dave. Because in the BPT, when a guy's got a fish in a brush pile and he starts stripping down, I'm watching that because I know that something crazy is about to go down. Get into the water, feel the lag. How big is the fish? Is he going to catch it? Guy's jumping up on docks. Is someone going to come down? Is a Rottweiler going to attack him? Is he going to take the penalty? It's exciting. I think for non-fans of the sport with the overused term growing the sport, I don't care if you're walking past the TV and you've never caught a fish in your life. When you see a guy who's jacked up with his rod bent and then all of a sudden he jumps in the water after it, you're going to stop to see what he comes up with. But I'm conflicted. That's my initial thoughts on it. It's exciting. I think it adds to the sport. It adds to the drama. It gives you a great clip. It goes viral on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. It makes it a contact sport, Dave. That's my first half on it. What's your first take on it? Well, I'll remind you, the punch in your face, punch your buddy in the face goes viral on TikTok too, but it's not recommended. My take on it is it's buffoonery and it's stupid. I mean, and it's more than that. It's scary to me because I think eventually, you know, number one, there's only one league. Well, I mean, that you can do it in, and, and that's MLF, right? As far yes. as I know. I mean, you can't leave the boat in a Bassmaster event to do that. But it amazes me that the same league that gives you a lunch break lets you trailer your boat wherever you want if it's rough and put you a lines in time as opposed to having to, you know, race. Like they've removed all of those scary elements of pro fishing. But, hey, jump in there in gator infested water or worse than that, you know, eventually. And here's what I think will happen. If nothing's done with it, you're right. It does give a bunch of clicks and a bunch of people get all excited because we saw somebody that really shouldn't take their clothes off in front of people, take their clothes off in front of people and jump in the water and swim down and they get their fish. And it's something you're going to want to watch. Excalibur with the fish above the water. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a movie, just like a movie. But here's what real life happens. That dude gets hooked on something down there and doesn't make it back up or, you know, things can go bad when you go in the water and whether you like it or don't like it, the anglers at the top level of this sport, wherever they're fishing, they set the bar. They set the bar of how people treat themselves and how people do things. And by glamorizing something like that, if you ask me, it's stupidity and it's asking for something to go really, really bad. And I don't think it'll go really, really bad at a pro level tournament. I think where it'll go really bad is at a collegiate event or at something when somebody's just being a jackass and doing something for fun. Kids do enough stupid things for social media clout nowadays. They don't need another one to follow. That's my take. Call the jumping in of the water. In now, my tournament. second half of it, that was all the good oh, stuff. Oh, you got more. I got more because I gave the first half of it. But Dave, I'm in 100% agreement with you on this. It's, 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 the show's it's never going to work if we always agree. I know, but we're not always. But I, I think this one, I think I, I, I wanted to set the stage as to why I think it adds. I think there is an addition. There is a positive to it. And I, I did a little research. And I do know that, that if it is private property, like you can't jump out on the dock on private property. But there are some states, some lakes where... You know, you can jump out on the on a public dock, but you can't just jump out on anybody's dock. So it's not like they're saying, hey, jump out on this guy's dock and he's he's waiting for you with, you know, a baseball bat and an AK-47. Okay, they can't do that. But the jumping into the water, like you said, there are so many elements of safety that have been added to the sport. You mentioned them all. I'll go ahead and I'll add the kill switch and fog delays. And, and horsepower limits and all this. And just that element, that boat is a lot safer than what's in the water. And I know for a fact, because, you know, we've all jumped in the lake before. You do not know what's under there. A trot line, a treble hook, and, and, and bad things go wrong when you make multiple bad decisions. And when are you likely to make a poor decision? When you have a lot on the line, your adrenaline is pumping, and it seems more important than it actually is. 
it may seem like a four or five pound fish down there, but to them, it could be a house mortgage, a $10,000 check, not getting kicked off of the tour. And you're going to push the limits and do stuff that is outside of your comfort zone and not smart if it is at your disposal to use. So getting out of the boat at tournaments, I agree with you. I'm calling it, stay in the boat, stay on the front deck, stay on the back deck, stay in the middle, stay in the boat to land the fish and you'll get to fish the next tournament. Yeah, and for the love of God, keep your shirts on. Come on. The yeah, well, when Crete did it for the first one, remember he jumped in and everyone it's went, ripped. dude, Crete's jacked. And then it went all downhill from there. Yeah, Crete's kind of like the... Um, he was tan. The, the janitor from uh, The Simpsons. Like, he just looked like a yeah. meek old dude, but that dude took off his shirt. He's and like tanned. I think he had a tattoo. Ripped. Everyone was like, man, that guy looks like he could swim the English Channel. Swam under the dock, got his two pounder and came back and well, it's gonna it's uh, i mean i think it worked for him we for everybody else the last part of that but yeah we did we that's our problem even like shaved show. his chest i think come on yeah what shave chest shaving keep i just think he was planning fishing. he was planning on hanging up a keeper under the dock and he's like here's my moment here's my moment i've been waiting i've been waiting <laughs> well we both agreed that jumping in the water is buffoonery let us know what you think. Jumping in the water in pro-level tournaments. Keep our cullet.